Dear friends, this is my tutorial 23. So in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do NMR calculation using Gaussian and how to plot your NMR result using multi WFN software. Okay, this is the predin proton NMR software. So I used to plot uh, from using this multi WFN software. Okay, so in this video, I will tell you how to do uh, uh, NMR calculation and a plot using multi WFN. Okay, okay, so we will see our input and output files. Okay, so first you have to go to our folder. So, first you have to optimize your uh, structure, predin structure. So, this is the optimized one. Okay, I already optimized. So, I will show you the input file. Okay, this is the predin input file for geometry optimization. So this is the input file. First you have to put uh, percentage CHK equal to PY CHK and you have to put memory 6 MW and N for shared 2. So if you are using your uh, desktop computer, you have to give like this. If you are using your server or supercomputer, you have to modify according to the your server configuration. Okay. So this is the fourth tag is uh, uh, root section. This is the theory B3 AP we are using here. So this is the basis set 631G star we are using for all light atoms. Okay. So if you are using uh, transition metal, you have to use a different basis set for transition metal. Okay. So you can watch my earlier video. I also explained how to use the basis set for transition metals. Okay. So then you have to put your optimization and the frequency keyword. So then what I what will do? First the structure will optimize, then correspond next calculation will take place for frequency calculations. So then you have to give space, then you have to give the name of the system and you have to give space and you have to give the charge of the system. This is the charge of the system. This is the spin multiplicity. Okay. So this is the Cartesian coordinate of uh, the corresponding uh, uh, molecule that is in. Okay. So I will show you this structure using Gauss view. So we can open our Gauss view software. So this is the gas view. So I will open that uh, GJF file. Okay. So so if you if you don't know how to pre prepare that uh, input file, you can watch my earlier Gaussian videos. I have clearly explained how to make input file and also save as a dot GJF file. Okay. So this is the input file we have uh, created for our calculation. So then you can submit this uh, GJF file to your Windows system or Linux system. So if you are using Linux system, you have to change this into the .com file format. I have also made for that uh, one calculation how to make the input file for Linux uh, system. You can watch that video if you don't know. Okay. So this is the output file of this separate uh, structure. Okay. So we can see uh, you using Gauss view the frequencies of this predicting thing. So just to drag to the Gaussian, so it will open directly. So now we will see the result section. Go to result, just to see the vibrations. So this is the vibrational frequency. So then you can uh, start animation. If you click start animation, it will start vibrate. Okay. Then you can click one by one number. It, you will find that a different kind of vibration modes. Okay. So here you can see there is no negative frequency. That means the structure is uh, the structure completely minimized. Okay. So if you have negative frequency means that is not a uh, uh, local structure. Uh, means the not minimum structure. You have to redo your calculation again and again. Okay. So then you have to stop one. So then you can save this file to NMR calculation for NMR calculation. Okay. Just to go to file, just to save. So you can uh, create a new folder. So I will create just x1. So you can save that GJF file. Okay. So after the saving, you will see you will this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate. Okay. We can use this coordinate for uh, NMR calculation. Okay. So this is the things. So we can use this uh, Cartesian coordinate for NMR calculations. So I already made that uh, NMR calculation and uh, I have created input file, output file also everything ready. I will show you that input file for NMR calculation. So this is the predin input file for the proton NMR or uh, NMR calculation. Okay. So this is the thing. This is the similarly what we used in that optimization. Okay. You can use default. So here you have to give the NMR keyword. Okay. So here I given the NMR keyword. So I simply given the NMR. So this means that that system uh, Gaussian itself it will uh, do that uh, GIAO method. Okay. So if you want another method, just you have to mention NMR equal to that method. Okay. 
So then I have did this NMR calculation in solvent medium in chloroform. That's why I mentioned that a solvent uh, uh, tag here. Okay. So then you have to mention SCRF equal to SMD. This is the SMD model. So people will also use the PCM model. So I used for this NMR calculation SMD model. Then you have to mention the solvent equal to chloroform. So which solvent you have to going to use? You have to mention this one. So if you want to going to use the stonatel, just you can give a stonatel. So okay, like that. If you want to use THF, just you give THF. Okay, then it will run that calculation under the solvent. Okay, then its phase, then the name of the system, and similarly that uh, charge of the system. This is actually neutral molecule. So I given the zero charge. This is the spin multiplicity one. This is the optimized Cartesian coordinate. So here basis set I have mentioned here only because only the light atom only is the that's why I use the single basis set for my system. Okay, then you have after completion of uh, Cartesian coordinate just to give some space. Then you can save it. Then you can submit this input file your uh, desktop or uh, Linux system. The calculation will complete within uh, one or two minutes because this is a very small system. Okay, so so that's all. So I will we will see the our uh, output file the uh, NMR output file. So we can open that NMR output file. So we will see that the solvent parameter. So this is the solvent parameter. So we are used the SMD model. Okay, is coming here. So likewise uh, we can see our solvent model details here. So then we can see our uh, NMR result. Okay, just to go there. You will get your SEF GIO magnetic shielding tensors. Okay. PPM. So this is the NMR result of that pyridine molecule. Okay. So this is the one. So if you are using manually, you have to use uh, the TMS as a reference system. So I also made one video for that uh, using TMS system. So if you want, you can watch that video. You will understand how to use the reference um, molecule to get your isotropic value. So in this video, I'm going to use that multi WFL. We can get easily our plot also. It look like experimental plot. We will get okay. So that's why I'm going to use that multi WFL. So please watch that part. Very useful. You can also do easily one. Okay, that's all. So if you go to down, we will see the normal termination of Gaussian calculation. Okay, that means our system is uh, uh, normal termination. Okay, so that's all. So now we will use our uh, multi WFN in order to get our uh, the proton and mass spectra. Okay, so please watch this one carefully. So so this is the multi WFN software I have downloaded from the website. I will give the link uh, for download this software. This is actually open source software. You can download. You can use freely. Okay, so just we can open this one. So this is the multi WFN uh, application just we can execute uh, double clicking this one so now it will open like a uh, terminal just you have to um, uh, press enter so if you press enter it will open that uh, corresponding folder if not showing here just you have to uh, open the corresponding folder from this uh, small windows okay so this is our nmr calculation Mm, so this is the proton NMR. Okay, this is actually last video we made for 13 NMR. I is showing that one. So this is the proton NMR folder. Just I will click this one. So I will go, I will go to this NMR folder. So here you can see this is the input file. This is the output file. Just uh, highlight output file, then open. Okay. Now, so a program will uh, start. This is the main function menu in multi WFN. So here what you have to use. So we have to use eleventh function. So 11th function is the spectrum function. So here see different kind of spectrum they mentioned. So first you have to type 11. Okay. 11 and enter. Then what you have to do. So here you can see 1 IR, 2 Raman and 3 UV visible, ECD, VCD, ROA, everything is there. The 7th one is NMR spectrum. So now you have to type 7. Then enter. Okay. So now we have to see here choose the element type considered for plotting current is automatically default it will set as a c13 spectra okay so for that we have to change into the proton nmr h okay then you have to type 6 and enter now what you have to put we have to put the element name okay element name here is h so that one shift h you can type the caps h 
then enter okay so we are doing the proton enema that's why we have typed in the h in the proton enema okay then so see here the sixth option is changed into h okay now we have to see the seventh option so here set how to determine the chemical shift current in none so we have to type 7 here and enter so it will ask three options 0 1 2 so we are using that scaling method not into the reference method so next video i will tell you how to use this reference method so now we will see this uh, uh, second option scaling method so type 2 okay now we have to put over the input slope value input slope and intercept value okay i will show you where to get how to get this one so okay so for that you have, what you have to do so for that you have to go this website okay if you go this web website you will get that uh, uh, slope and intercept value okay so for that what you have to do you see a scaling factor is there so click the scaling spectra you can see here different kind of table is there so here what you have to see here this is table 1a this is the scaling vector gas phase dft molecules calculation okay this 1b is the chloroform okay so just we are used the chloroform solvent so so smd model salvation also just we can click this one it will direct to that page so here you can see so we optimized b 3 lp 631 register based set gas phase and we did the nmr calculation also the same basis set and the theory okay that's why this is the proton nmr slope and intercept value so if we are doing that a proton nmr we have to use this value so if you are using the c13 nmr we have to use this one okay so if you are using different uh, basis set in that uh, nmr calculation you can use this slope value basis set uh, uh, slope intercept value for your uh, multi wfn calculation plotting okay so here you can see 631 plus g double star they use a different basis set so if you are using different or this basis set you have to use this slope and intercept value so so we have to use now this intercept uh, slope and intercept value copy so here you can paste it okay then you have to give space so then you have to copy this intercept value okay so then you have to paste it then you can enter so now we have came to the final uh, step so here you can see zero zero means plot the nmr spectra now it will show in the screen itself so we will see so type zero and enter see this is the pd proton nmr spectra okay so this is that thing so we can also save this data i will tell you that one now so just we can close it that so here you can see save graphical file for nmr spectra in the current folder so what we see in that file we can also save the, that file into the our corresponding folder so for that we have to type one and enter our file is now saved okay so we can also see our files so let's see this one this is the our proton nmr spectra that graphics image is saved so i will show you opening this one see this is saved into the our corresponding folder okay so we can close it now so now we can also save our xy data set this spikes and curves into the plain text file so this is the very useful one so if you do this one you will get your data file you can also plot that spectra using your origin software okay so this is also very useful so we will type 2 okay then enter so our data file is saved so here you can see nmr line nmr curve nmr line means you will get the line okay single line one so you will get that curve type peak in this uh, uh, data okay so i already made that uh, uh, figure for you just i will show you that one so so this is the that spectra i made for you already so it's a very simple one okay we can also reduce into one one is enough i think 0.5 is good mm -hmm. yeah this is simply good so 
mm, this is the things so i will tell you one second how to plot that uh, then only you will understand easily okay so we can open that uh, curve type so just plot select that one you can go to plot you will get you will get like this so if you want to adjust you if you want to reverse the spectra also you can reverse it just to double click this one and you can uh, click reverse so it will automatically reverse okay so likewise you can do just uh, based on uh, my this picture you can uh, make it okay so see here so you can make it here from 0 to 9 0 to 10 uh, likewise you can also make it color everything just it's very easy only just make it and make it blue color and i will do it these things i think easily okay so now we will save our nmr spectra 3d nmr spectra proton nmr so here you can export open dialog so here you have to give jpg so here h n m more and a mass spectra just you can save into where you want you can also save just increase the resolution up to 600 just click ok so now our nma spectra saved okay so we will see our nma spectra now see this is the our proton nma spectra Okay, that's all. So you can also do your own exercise, and you will uh, easily understand this one. So if you are anyone, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, if anyone experimental chemist watching my video, you can also do like that. You can compare with the experimentally observed spectra with your computationally predicted spectra. Okay, so that is a very useful method to understand that uh, extra um, structure of your system. Okay. So thank you for watching my video if you like my content is more useful so please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you for watching enjoy